What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP 21 Career Mode with me, James, at Dougie Decker. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing well. Hope you've uh, enjoyed the last episodes. We're um, hitting up Valencia, the final race of the season. España, Valencia. It's going to be a good one. It's probably not going to be a good one. I'm probably going to mess it up horrendously. However, last time out, I said we were looking for some money. We got 173,000 credits now to uh, buy out our KTM claws. We were looking for some reputation. We've now got 330,800 uh, reputation and do you know what we've got we've got some blooming factory rides red bull ktm ducati lenovo and patronus yamaha i mean that's not factory technically but still still a decent team so now the hardest decision is who the hell do we choose all year long i've been blabbing on about patronus blah i want to go to patronus i want to go to patronus i want to go to tech free i've got a tech free offer i've got a patronus offer i don't really want to take either of them now because i've got these two bad boys now, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. I'm going to choose right now, though, because I don't want to risk losing any more money. I don't think we will, but by the end of the season, I just I just want to let's sign up to somebody right now. So I'm going to make a decision any minute. I just, I don't know. KTM, obviously, we can stay in the KTM family. That KTM looks amazing. It's obviously not particularly the team performance right there. It doesn't look good, but it obviously it will be. It can, it can be. We can we can improve all that sort of stuff. Money-wise, none of it really makes any sense. Like, it doesn't really matter. They're all very similar. The championship goals are the same. Uh, race goals, top five. Championship, top three. Quality is uh, second row. Both two seasons. The buyout clause for Ducati is obviously a lot more, but two seasons is a long time anyway, so I don't know. I don't know. I think part of me wants to stay with the KTM, but then I also want to just mix it up completely. That is going to feel very similar to the bike we're riding right now. So I think we're going to go with Ducati. We're going to do it. I'm accepting it. I'm hitting accept. Yes, I do want to pay out 100. I mean, I don't really want to pay out 160 grand, but we're going to do it. There it is, signed on the dotted line, Dougie Decker, we've got no money, but we have got a factory Ducati ride, happy blooming days, that is exciting times. We've got to get another race done though, final race of uh, Hertz KTM, Ryan Valencia, let's get into it and see how we go. Here we go, FP1 Ryan Valencia, final race of the season as I just said, let's go to uh, get our manual setup all sorted, if you want to skip ahead to quality, feel free to do so, I'm going to uh, jump into suspension and we'll have a look at what we need to do. Yeah, suspension. So we're going for an 8 on the front preload, 4 for oil quantity, 0 for spring hardness, 4 for swing arm compression, and 4 for swing arm extension. That's for your front uh, front settings. The rear, we're going for a 2 on the preload, 4 for the swing arm connector, 0 for the spring hardness, 2 for the compression, and 8 for the extension. That's your suspension. Cool, so your vehicle geometry is going to be 0 for steering head, uh, 8 for trail, 3 for steering plate position, and 3 for rear swing arm length. That's your vehicle geometry. Cool, so for transmission, we're going well random. I really need to look at, I mean, there's a description right there, but I really need to look into how this works a bit better. But um, yeah, well random setup. So first gear, we're going for a two. Uh, second gear, we're going for a seven. Third gear, we're going for an eight. Fourth gear, we're going for a seven. Fifth gear, we're going for an eight. Then sixth gear, we're going for a five. I guess we won't really use sixth gear particularly much on this track. Uh, final ratio is going to be a six, and then your slip clutch is going to be a four. That's your transmission. Brakes, I feel like we do this every episode, but we're going for the biggest ones. High mass, 340 on the front and a 220 on the rear. That's your brakes. Cool, and then ECU, as always, we'll mess about a bit throughout the sessions, but we're going to go for a 3 for traction control, 4 for engine brake, 3 for the anti-wheelie, and power mapping for 2 for now. That's going to be your ECU. And that is a manual setup around Valencia. So let's uh, let's get into it, get in free practice. I'll see you in qualifying, hopefully Q2 for our last race of the season. Let's see what happens. Here we go, FP1 is done with, and we're top of the tables again. It's just like Sepang, we're doing all right. We're 0.3 ahead of Bagnaya, uh, 0.4 ahead of Quattro So, good pace around Valencia. A little bit um, inconsistent again, as per usual. But, um, yeah, not a bad track. I, I, as I said before, kind of middle of the road track for me. But, uh, put it on top. So, that should be putting us straight through to Q2, hopefully. We'll wait and see. But, um, yeah, let's carry on and see if we can uh, get, get some good qualifying times on the go. Here we go, then. Flying lap time. We are uh, straight through the Q2, as expected. Obviously, top of my FP1. And, uh, yeah, let's get it. I reckon we get a pole here. I reckon we can. I really, I really do enjoy racing this circuit, to be fair. It's a good, uh, good track. This last corner is pretty fun when you get it right. When you get it wrong, it's an absolute mess. But, uh, yeah, looking good, looking good. Right, final race on the, uh, the Hertz KTM. Well, final qualifying session on the Hertz KTM. Before we go to Ducati with the big boys. I'm guessing it doesn't get rid of uh, a member of Ducati. Like, it doesn't get rid of Miller in Bagnaya. So it's going to be a triple header of a Ducati factory team. We'll have to wait and see how that goes, though. First of all, we need to get through the last race. We've got Mir up in front of us. Looks like he's set the fastest time so far. We're uh, <laughs> a million miles underneath it already. Just in the first sector. Probably my better sector of the track, first sector. 
probably the worst is the, I don't know, third sector probably, I guess. We'll wait and see in a minute. 2.9, that was a bit wide around turn six. Not too bad though, not too bad. Definitely pulling away, from, yeah, pulling away from us through there, so maybe that is our worst section. Oh, I don't know, We're still one second, 1.2 seconds ahead of its pace. Oh, it's like a bit of a weird line around uh, turn eight. Back end stepping out a bit. This is probably my worst part of track. I always seem to mess this bit up. There we go, going wide. And we're dying. Ugh. All right, rubbish. Last race of the season. Not what you want to see. Not what you want to see. Oh, Miller's crashed as well. Oh, that was. I thought he was going to stand up then. That'd have been interesting. Right, let's go for another lap. Come on, then. Final number two. Commies, put a lap in here. We should be doing uh, doing pretty good around Valencia. We've got some pace, so let's get time in. Oh, we're going to go wide around the first corner though. Is that going to? Validate our lap. No, we got away with it. Get stopped since turn two. Not not a start you want really. Come on, that was the first half was so much better than this already. I blood me messed it up. I knew I was gonna mess it up right in that corner. We're still we're point six underneath uh still mirror by the looks of it. We're wider in turn four. Just messy, just messy, inconsistent is the uh my favourite word of this entire series of episodes is just inconsistency in my riding. Right, nobody around. Come on, let's just uh, concentrate. We're half a second, so we're not as fast as we were just now, unless Mir's up to his time. He probably has, actually, 130.8. Oh, what am I doing? All over the place, all over the place. I don't know if this is going to be good enough, you know? Ooh, this is a hard corner to get right, but I seem to mess up a lot. All right, that was tidy. It wasn't, no, I mean, look at the amount of time we've lost. Through sector three, that's insane. Gonna be going again by the looks of it. Not good, not what you wanna see. Oh no, we ran out of fuel, what? We've only done one lap, two laps? Dude, come on. It's dead, engine's completely gone. Right, back to the pits then. We're gonna have to push it, run it down the pits and uh, we'll try again, this is ridiculous. Right, another flying lap, again. But this, we messed this right up. This is our last chance, there's a minute left and a bit on the clock. I'm just trying to back off a bit to get rid of Bagnaia. Hopefully he's going to the pits. He's not going to the pits. Right, this is it. This is our last chance. We're catching him on this straight, which is ridiculous. Why is he going so slow? Oh, he's gonna get in my way on the last lap. And he's the easy one we're trying to beat. That's some nice tactics there by, uh, by Bagnaia. We've obviously morally messed up our own qualifying session here. I, uh, I'm assuming we lost all that time because I, we had, they had to fix the bike up. I won't really pay attention just now. Right, we seem to put a time in. Like, it doesn't have to be pole. But I don't, I'm not going off 12 on the grid around Valencia. Because you know how bad our starts are anyway. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, you know how bad our starts are anyway, so if we're going off 12, we're going to be, I don't know, P15, P16 by the end of the, the straight, probably. So, I'm saying we're going to be catching back now up. We don't seem to be catching him up, do we? We're, uh, this is obviously not that quick a lap. He's actually at, like, a nice distance. This is probably helping me a fair bit. Right, let's just not mess this corner up again. Oh, nearly did, nearly did. Front's going, front's going. Very slow right there. I mean, he looks slow as well, so we're still 0.4 underneath this time. Get it stopped right there. Oh, get off those curves. Oh, I didn't get that over to the left quite quick enough, so it's going to be a very wide line right now. Right, get it stopped into the final corner. Again, a little bit wide, very scrappy. Don't know what's going on. Right, he's going to the pits. We're going to take pole position, I reckon. Come on. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah, we did. Happy days. There we go, pole. By half a second. Don't know what's going on again. Weird, 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 weird session that was. That was a mess. But um, somehow we pulled out the bag, got pole position. Good way to end the season. Let's get into the race. Come on then, last race of the season. Ryan Valencia here. We're going for a medium front, a hard rear tyre. We're going off pole. So we're going to be going backwards straight away with our terrible starts. But um, yeah, let's get into the race, see what we can do. Come on then, South Spag 9, Mir, Quattaro, Vinales, and Espargo are the top two rows of the grid. As I keep saying, final race of the season. Let's try and make it a good one. Try and get it another win. A P5 in the championship. I don't think we can overtake anybody. I didn't really look. Should have probably had a look. But um, let's get away from the start. Come on. 
right, well, just less reps off the start, maybe. Yeah? Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. Maybe I'm finally going to learn it in the last race of the season. I'm not going to learn it in the last, like, the last race of the season. We're getting absolutely done in by everybody. Ducati, Suzuki, Yamaha's, more Ducati's. Don't know when to break into the turn one. That wasn't too bad. That was not too bad. Right, where are we? Are we? P5? Yeah, P5. Dive underneath somebody into turn two. Oh, we've got an Aprilia up the inside. We've gained a place and we lost a place simultaneously there. And we're going to lose one on the outside by Vinales, by the looks of it. Right, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's not get into a messy first lap battle. Let's keep it nice and neat. I said I'm just inconsistent and middle of the road pace around Valencia. I don't know how we put it on pole, to be honest. I'm pretty surprised. Can we get underneath Vinales? He's still on the Yamaha, isn't he? Why have they not updated it to put him on a Prilia? Come on, Milestone. Right, we're going down to the last corner. We're still P6. We're not really, uh, not really doing very well here, are we? I don't know what's happened here. I was expecting us to be fighting for podiums, not a uh, not sixth place. Right. Bit of Palme free, bit of cheating down the street. Slight gap behind. Right, we're absolutely do it more than turn one here. Are we going to get it stopped though? Well, we did just about it. Rainy outside of everyone. That's Marvin and Spagaro. Alish. Pretoria into turn two. Can we. No, he took a nice line right now, to be fair. Although he's going to go wide on the exit. Don't. Oh. Uh, fought by it. Fought by it. Backed out of it. We're going wide here. Someone's going to come underneath. There we go. Probably underneath. Right on cue. We're on the curbs, we're on the grass, we're on the curbs. Back on the track. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, I get stopped. Come on. Right, better, better. Podium, podium to end out of the season would be lovely. Win would be incredible. Oh, you've got a break, literally. As soon as you go around that corner, you've got to pretty much just jam on the anchors. Right, we're going to cut underneath Quattro right here. Well, this is the weakest part of the track for us, to be honest. So he's going to come straight back underneath us there. Oh, and he's blocked us as well. Nice moves from uh, from the world champion there, to be fair. World champion, is, uh, he's already been cranked by the time you're seeing this. Fair play to him. He rode a good season. He absolutely crumbled last year. In a, oh my god, hang on. I'm crumbling as well. The final race of the season. Oh, we're going wide, we're going wide, we're going wide, we're going wide, we're going wide. Pretty again. Come on, that pretty is looking good, to be fair. Yeah, fair play to Fabio. He had an absolute horrible season in 2020. Completely lost the plot towards the end of the year. And uh, obviously lost the championship. Oh, hang on. We're going straight on at one. But uh, yeah, fair play to him this year. He kept his cool. Literally been unflustered completely, really. He's uh, he's done very well. Got a funny feeling back nine is going to be uh, hunting him down again next year, though. See if Mark comes back. I don't know. I'll have to wait and see how he, how he does. After, oh, this is way after uh, Portimao I'm recording this, but um, he obviously had that. Didn't even race there. Had that accident in a, in training, concussion, I think it was, in the end. But obviously, pretty bad. They were playing it down, like Honda were playing it down, saying a minor concussion. Can't be that minor, mate, if you're missing the entire race weekend. So, uh, I don't know. He needs to stop bashing himself about it, otherwise, he's not going to have long, long left in his career. Like, you know, I don't wish any harm on him or anything, but. Uh, there's a reason Valentino has gone on for so long, he's not buried himself that much. Broke a few legs, broke his leg, broke a few bones, but nothing uh, nothing too crazy. And uh, yeah, he's been around forever, whereas Mark's just kind of in self-destruct mode. He's just, I don't know, getting on mate, you're getting old. He can't, uh, he can't bounce back from those injuries as quickly as you used to be able to, buddy. But uh, I don't know, we'll wait and see. I want him back, but I don't want him back to the, the point where he's just annihilating everybody because it was so boring. Like, fair play to him. I know that's how championships go sometimes. You get that one guy. That one guy on that one bike or that one car. Hang on, we're going on at turn one again. Oh, I'm not going to be catching these stuff. I keep doing that, am I? Um, yeah, and they always win for a couple of years, but I don't know. It was getting to the point where something needed to happen to make it more exciting again because it was very boring at one point. Just Marquez winning everything. And uh, obviously he was out for a while, and it's been a very exciting championship for the past two years. But um, yeah, it'd be nice to have him back battling, but um, not not disappearing out front. 
I'll tell you what's not disappearing out front is us. We are, uh, we're not catching these boys, are we? We're on lap four or seven already. Tires are looking messy already. I'm not really uh, putting much time into a late Shiva, so he's right on our tail, ready for when we make a mistake, no doubt. Him is out front, me and Bagnaya, yeah. Someone's crashed behind us by the looks of it. Who was in front of us in the championship? I cannot honestly remember, was it? I think it was Quattararo. So is he... Where is he? P7. Probably onto the straight. Oh, we got a horrible train behind us. Back on there. Oh, Amir definitely getting away. I really want to win this race. Last one of the season. Come on, mate. Can we get stops to turn one this time? Oh, we're back end locking up a little bit there. Come on, let's put some hot laps. Put some hot laps in. I reckon we can do this. Come on, Dougie, mate. The podium's fine, I mean, I'll take a podium. P3 is, uh, is decent. Can't complain. Ah, oh, going very wide around there as well. Come on. What a mess. Right, here we go. The worst part of the track is done, so what I'm saying, here we go. This is a bit start of the uh, start of the sector we always mess up, but let's keep it going, let's keep it going. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Hope you guys have enjoyed the series so far, obviously. We're, uh, we're coming to the end of this season. Um, I will, as I said, we were obviously going to Ducati now, but uh, I will I will try and keep this going as long as I can. As I said last episode, I don't know if I mentioned it in this one already as well, but uh, we're doing some Ride 4, little Ride 4 series as well. Obviously very late to, uh, to play in it, but... Um, Finally got around to getting it, finally got around to getting a PS5, so we'll be playing it on that, which will be exciting hopefully, it seems like a really good game. I wanted to play it when it originally came out, I just never got around to doing it, so uh, yeah, we'll do a little career mode on that, see how far we get. It's obviously a humongous game compared to this, there's bikes and tracks everywhere, so, oh god, we are struggling here, we are struggling for pace. But yeah, I'll obviously try and keep, uh, keep my GP going as well, we want to see how we get on our nice factory Ducati. Let's put a lap in power mode 3 and see if we can uh, close this gap a bit. I mean, we're not gunning with braking maneuvers like that. Tires are all over the place. Yeah, it stopped right there. Why? We're just wide everywhere. I mean, we're just not. We're not in any apexes at all here. I don't know why I'm struggling so much. I said Valencia, not my, uh, not bad, not a good track. Definitely middle of the road, as we're we're seeing right here. Right, they are, uh, oh, I was about to say they're closing us down very quickly, and there they are, <laughs> right on cue. The leash is nudging the back of us. Don't know where our pace has gone, man, honestly. I thought we'd be uh, fighting for this win, but we're dropping like a stone. Come on, they just got so much speed. I've got no, no drive out of any of these corners. I'm gonna get back on this straight, hopefully. Is he gonna block, block me into the final corner? Come on, primary three. Oh, it's on the last lap as well. I need a podium here, come on. I cannot not get a podium on the last race of the season. Alright, get stopped, turn right, get stopped, get stopped, get stopped, get stopped, get stopped properly. Ugh, messy, but we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Alright, turn two, come on, we're pretty good in two most of the time. Yeah, that was alright, that was alright, that was nice, that was nice. First sector, come on, we need to be speedy around this first sector. That was slow right there, definitely slow right there. I've just lost all the lines. I swear I was doing a lot better than this in qualifying and practice, but uh, what's the gap? 0.4 to a leash. This is where he gains all the time on us. Not this straight, but after this. Oh, he's right there again. They're all right there. Problem is, if I lose anything out to a leash, looks like Mav's right behind him, Oliveira's right behind him as well. Nice tight lines, nice tight lines. Don't let the inside anywhere. I'm gonna have to ride a little bit defensive. Favorite part of the track? Not. This is horrible. This corner, I hate it. But somehow we've survived. Come on, then final corner, final corner of the season. Oh, we braked a bit early. He could be coming up the inside. He's trying. We're cutting the corner. Oh, we've got a terrible drive out there. Oh, no. he's actually gonna take away our podium. He's actually gonna take away the podium from us. Did we get it? Did we get it? Was that podium? Was that fourth place? Oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. He literally, look at the time, 5.501 for both of us behind Mir. He literally pipped us to the podium. Oh, that's so annoying. That is so annoying. Right on the last corner of the last race of the season. Damn. 
that can sum up our season better, to be honest. Messy, but with flourishes of, of brilliance. We've, uh, we did all right. We did all right. We'll have a look in a minute. But uh, there's that race. Valencia's done with P4. Not what you want to see, but it'll do. It'll do. Let's see what that does for the championship. Yes, yeah, so there we go. P5. Didn't think we could get uh, Fabio. We we were close, mine. We're only six points behind him. So if he if he'd crashed out or something, we could have uh, we could have had him. But P5. That's decent, man. On your own little KTM. Zarco takes the championship. It went down to the wire. I did, I completely forgot about that. He wasn't in the top three, was he? Definitely not. So yeah, he's just taking the championship ahead of Bagnaya. So the Pramac Ducati takes the championship. That's uh, that's an interesting one. Never, you, know, you never know. I mean, it looked like he could have done that this year in real life at the beginning of the season. But uh, there we go. We'll see uh, what, uh, what ending credits we've got for this uh, this season. We're obviously not going to be the champion. So I'll see what happens after this. And there we go. End of our first season in MotoGP with uh, Hertz KTM. We've done all right. There's a few standout performances there. I mean, we sucked at the start of the season. Look at that. 14th, 19th, 22nd. 22nd in France. So last in France and Portugal. In Portimao. But yeah, we had a few, a few decent results. Catalonia got a third, Germany got a second. Then we had a few bad races in uh, in Assen and Finland. Fifth, fifth, fourth, first, first, second, tenth in in uh, Australia, Phillip Island. Yeah, we we sucked around Phillip Island, but yeah, definitely definitely all came together towards the end of the season. Apart from Phillip Island, everything else is is top fives. So not bad. We'll have to wait and see what we do on that Chicago. But uh, that's it, guys. That's it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed that season. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Leave some comments down below. Give it a thumbs up if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss another episode of MotoGP 21. We're obviously going to be going to the next season of Ducati, Factory Ducati. They're going to want a lot more from us. They're going to want top top threes, top fives or whatever it was. They're going to want to, yeah, we're not going to be getting away with 20 seconds basically anywhere. So we'll wait and see. But yeah, hopefully you'll join me for the ride. I hope you enjoyed everything so far and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.